Hi, we're Heavy Metal Beer Club. And we're at... Desert Monks Brewing Company in Chandler, Arizona. And it's beautiful outside right now, so of course, we had to get ourselves a flight. Look at that, it's a flight of five. It's a nice day to be outside. There was a lot of rain yesterday. Well, this place is really cool. They brew right here, and it's a nice, cozy, cute place inside. Seriously nice people. Um, the beer tender is awesome. Oh, yeah. I'm going to start off with a Desert Monks Brewing Alewife's Pumpkin Pie. It's Markson. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Salute. That's a 5.8 alcohol by volume. Yeah. Show that. Like Pumpkin Pie and Marzen had a beautiful love child. So that sounds awesome. Oh, that is really nice. Everything a, a pumpkin beer should be. That is, yeah. They did it's this so well. Slightly sweet. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. too sweet. Not too much spice, but you definitely taste the pumpkin spice, which I get disappointed when they make one that you can't taste the spice. Yeah, it's terrible when you get a pumpkin beer and that's what you're expecting. This, it's like taking an, a, a bite of pumpkin pie. It is very, very good. Yeah. A lot of spices. Get cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon, nutmeg, all spice, ginger. It's like the full pumpkin spice. Yeah, look at the color on that. What color would you say? That's like a a light. It's a nice golden yeah. orange. That's definitely delicious. I would come just for that. And then I'm going to taste number twenty. I'm just going to jump right to it and say yeah. on this one, it's um number five. Oh, five out of five yeah. on the taste meter for me. I definitely say five out, yeah. of five out of five for that. No. This one I'm going to taste my number 20 is a Desert Monk Brewing Oat of Silence. And it's a stout oatmeal, 5.6%. Show, show that color. American oatmeal stout brewed with generous amounts of malted oats and chocolate malt results in smooth and creamy mouthfeel. And that's a dark brown. Mm -hmm. That is so flavorful. There's something with their water. I mean, yeah. these, these just have this real yeah. clean taste to yeah. them. Yeah, they know what they're doing here. So yeah. Like, uh, I would say to come. I talked to a friend of mine that uh, is has a beer channel, and he had never been Brewery here. Brewery 602. So. Brewery 602. You have to go, Marcus. This place yeah, is their awesome. Beers are you fantastic will love it. Here. You will absolutely love it. Let's go okay. with my yeah. number five. My number five is the De Desert Monk's. Brewing Y Abo, the color on that. I mean, look at that. That is uh, the color of pear juice, doesn't that? It's an American Pale Ale, a 5.3 alcohol wow. by volume. A little oh, hazy. this is guava Very infused hazy. wheat. Oh, yeah, beer. that's what he said. I love guava. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I got to get a scent off of that. That is grapefruit and guava. Definitely grapefruit. And the guava, yeah, you can taste that. Gives it a nice little. Bitterness, but not too bitter. I think the, the guava yeah. mellows it out a little. Oh, it's very good. It's very That's juicy. real nice. I taste the like the rind of a grapefruit and also the guava. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful match. Mm -hmm. That is good. And you want to go down your list? Yeah. What do you got going on next? I'm there? going out of order. You want to go? That's what I do. Oh, we should go that way. I'm going to do the, the black. You have this too. No, you didn't get this. The yeah. black IPA. This is the Desert Monks Brewing Dark Robe Black IPA. It is 6.5%. That is another one, a real dark brown. Brewed with pale and Munich malts and hopped with Simcoe, Amarillo, Citra, and Columbus. Oh. Black IPAs are always interesting to try. Yeah, it's got that smoky, toasty taste with the hops of an IPA. It's a nice balance. This couldn't be any better yeah, for a that's, black IPA. Yeah, that's outstanding. Let's what go with my that? number one, the Desert Monks Brewing Goose Goose Ghost. Goose Goose Ghost. I love that. That's And that's just fun to say. Goose Goose Ghost. Yeah. yeah, and this is a sour, and it's a 4% alcohol by volume. And that is uh, a pale yellow. It's a little tart. It, yeah, it's tart, but oh, yeah. very nice flavor. Yeah, I can smell the tart. Tart, not completely lemony, but a little bit lemony. Like lemon lime, it's more more to the lime flavor. Yeah, definitely lemon lime mixture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's very good. Yeah, more on the side of a, a lime. I never order sours or goes because I don't. They're not my favorite. But this is very tasty for sure. Do you like that? I think that we were talking to a guy when we first came to up here, and he said one tasted kind of like a summer margarita kind of yeah thing. and that's what yeah yeah that would be this for sea sure salt and lime. yeah i mean we walked up and there was a family sitting here with smiles on their faces and a flight 
and we knew that we were at a good place. Yep. And you know what? We both have number eight, eight on here. Okay, let's do the eight. So let's do that, number eight, and that is the Desert, Desert Monks, Monks Brewing. Klosterkind Marzen. How do you, is, how, what's the proper pronunciation? Klosterkind or Klosterkind? Kind. Okay, Klosterkind. So, and it's a Marzen? 6.1. 6 6.1%. And it says, this monastery child will have shouting, Ein Prost! As you enjoy this well-balanced malt-forward fest beer, your taste buds will dance with the caramel notes and hints of hops. This traditional Oktoberfest. And it does have an orangey color as well. Let's taste it. I can't wait. You have to say prost. 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 Yeah, that's the very flavorful. Mm. Yeah, that's very wow. flavorful also. God. I haven't tasted one beer here that isn't mm -mm. a five. Yeah, these are all outstanding. And we have no affiliation to the place. If you've seen our other videos, you see that we are honest, sometimes even brutally honest. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are just that good. Wow. This has a really nice um, body mouthfeel, too, also. Yeah. It's almost got a little, I don't know, a little apple-y even. It is so good. And that's something... I that love Oktoberfest beers. I would say as far as the, the carbonation, the mouthfeel of the carbonation has all been pretty consistent. Yeah. Nice, light mouthfeel. Nice fresh toasty flavors that you want in an Oktoberfest beer. Like I said, I taste a little apple in it. It, it talked about the caramel. It's very Yeah, you definitely smooth. taste the, the kind of sweet caramel notes. We both had number four. The Desert Monks Brewing Bray Tormenta. Tormenta. English Porter, 6.2%. And that is real dark there. All the richness your tongue is craving, the sweet and bitter notes, and the Mexican chocolate pair perfectly with the Roasted flavor in the grain, making this a chocolatey porter favorite. Oh, Ooh, yeah. I can't wait. So now we heard what they like say. Like a Mexican chocolate Let's, porter. Oh, and we have, yours. yeah, you're going to drink mine. And we do Cheers. have uh, the other Los Muertos coming up, the All mm -hmm. Souls processional after Halloween. The scent is very, uh, a nice stout. It smells like a stout porter for sure. Smoky, rich smelling, burnt sugars. Yeah, burnt sugars, burnt toast. Very chocolatey. Super smooth. Yeah. This is like a nitro. And the mouth yeah, feels a medium body. It's really I don't good. think it is a nitro, it's but it not. has that feel. Creamy. It's even got a creamy head on it, like a Guinness. It seems to me like you cannot go wrong with any of these beers. And that's why it's so fun just we to have. We picked the right place to yeah. come and try today. Yeah, there's a beautiful patio. You can see we're sitting right where they make the beers back here. That's so peaceful. It's just a beautiful place. It's not a crowded area. People just walking their dogs, walking around. It's so nice. Got to come here. And inside is very cozy and cute. If you like a cozy, cute place, it's um, nice and contemporary at the same time. And what would you say was your, your favorite out of all of them? My favorite? Well, you know me. Number one was the pumpkin pie. Two was the Oktoberfest one for me. That's the Desert Monks Brewing Alewife pumpkin Ale pie. Wife. Yeah, you know what? I'd have to say that's my favorite also. I really like that one a lot. Oh, boy. You guys have to come here. If you're in the Chandler, Gilbert area, come to Desert Monks Brewing Company. This place is awesome. Well, those are some great beers at Desert Monks Brewing Company. Yes. And we want to thank our beer tender, Matt. Yeah. He was just fantastic. He took really good care of us. Yep. Awesome guy. Great energy. That makes all the difference when you go somewhere. You felt real welcome. What a great day. Yeah, great atmosphere and vibe in the place. Yeah. And thank you so much for joining us here at Heavy Metal Beer Club. Please stay safe, drink responsibly, and, and stay, stay metal. metal. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs>